Hello everyone, and in today's video, we're going to be actually taking another look at EXM Tweaks. We want to do this before they release their 2.0 variant of the utility, which is going to be super exciting. It looks incredible. You should go check that out. But for now, it is going to be EXM Premium Tweaking Utility versus Risen Tweaks Extreme Tweaking Utility. The EXM Premium Tweaking Utility comes in at 30 euros, and the Risen Tweaks Extreme panel comes in at 30 USD. However, like always, if you use code HYDRA at checkout, you can save 15% off all products from Risen Tweaks. Like always, I am on a i7 10700F, 16GB of DDR4 RAM, and I'm on a 1660 Super. So let's go ahead and get our test done, but like always, I'm going to showcase the Risen Tweaks Extreme panel, and then I'll showcase EXM's Premium Tweaking Utility, and then we'll get on with our test. So let's go ahead and take a look at Risen Tweaks Extreme panel. All right, I have just set up the EXM Premium Utility. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. And man, this is just like I remember it. It's almost overwhelming with the amount of tweaks that you get, and that is not a bad thing at all. I love how this looks. I love how this is. There's so many tweaks. It's super nice. I'm hoping that since they've updated it some bit, that we will get some more FPS improvement from our last test. But like always, I love how this looks. There's a lot of tweaks. And you can pause the video and look at all this if you like. But this is super cool. I just, I love this utility so much. I'll scroll through everything here. And I like how they give you warnings and such. And everything is just super nice. Man. But that's, that's the showcase for the XM tweaks. So let's go ahead and actually get down to what matters. Our tests. Let's see which utility you should spend your money on for the best performance for your computer. And here we have our extreme panel. As you see on the first page, it tells you everything about your computer. Here we have our Windows optimizations and our Windows settings. Here's our network settings, which had to be proven the best on the market. I will 100% say that A plus every time on the latency test for our network. Debla optimizations, you can read all this if you would like. And we have GPU optimizations for our Radeon and Nvidia GPUs. And here we just have some extra optimizations like keyboard and mouse tweaks, priority for games, CPU tweaks, and extra stuff like that. Now let's go ahead and take a look at EXM's premium tweaking utility, and then we'll go ahead and get on with our tests. Our process count test revealed that our stock OS had a process count of 151. After using EXM premium utility, our process count went down to 83, and after using Risen Tweaks extreme panel, our process count went down all the way to 58, giving Risen Tweaks the win for the process count category. Our buffer bloat test revealed that on the stock OS we got a buffer bloat score of an F. After using EXM Premium Utility, our buffer bloat score improved one grade, it went up to a D. But after using Risen Tweaks Extreme Panel, our buffer bloat score went all the way up to an A+. I'm not joking when I say this, I think that this has the best network tweaks on the market. Always from an F to an A+, every time. It's crazy. Like, I think the best utility we've gotten like as a grade and got like a C or maybe a C plus, but that's it. So this is going to give Risen Tweaks the win for the buffer bloat test category. Our latency mod test revealed that our stock OS had a highest process latency of 167 with an average of six. And our highest DPC latency was a 165 with an average of 3.7. On the EXM premium tweaked OS, our highest process latency was 101 with an average of 5.1. And our highest DPC latency was 99 with an average of 2.9. And on our Risen Tweaked OS, our highest process latency was 96 with an average of 2.5. Our highest DPC latency was 95 with an average of 1.0. This is once again going to give Risen Tweaks the win by a pretty good margin. And we just are going to have much more consistent, much more lower averages on our latency for our system. As you see here, here's our results from our timer resolution test. This is the number that we want to pay attention to. So if we add all these numbers up and average them out, our average time resolution for our untweaked windows is 14.51. Here's our time resolution results from our EXM tweaked OS. As you see, if we add up all these numbers in this row and get our averages, our average is only 14.4, which is only a 0.11 improvement over our stock OS which is honestly kind of disappointing, but we have more tests to go, so let's go ahead and get on with those. Here we have our results from our time resolution benchmark, and as you can see, you can already tell these numbers are much, much lower than our EXM and stock OS. If we average all these numbers out, we actually get an average 
time resolution on this OS of 7.4, which will work best for our system. This is an insane improvement. This is almost half of the EXM and the stock OS. I was extremely disappointed with EXM and I just, I'm not exactly sure what went wrong there, but hopefully they can fix in the future. But basically what this means is that our system is going to be much more responsive after using our extreme optimizations. So this is going to clearly give the point for Risen Tweaks on this test. All right, I just got done with our FPS test results and we can visualize them in CapFrameX here. And as you can see, it is a blowout, but I want to explain why I think this has happened. I don't remember there being any BIOS tweaks at all last time I used EXM tweaks, and this time I definitely saw multiple BIOS tweaks, and I just think that it's somehow messing it up. Somehow, maybe with Windows, Windows is very weird with this stuff, but there was like some fixed clock speed stuff, some RAM stuff, I know there is like a resizable bar for my GPU, which isn't actually good, I'm on a 1660 Ti or 1660 Super. So that was just a little disappointing, but I didn't do anything that I wasn't supposed to do or anything that isn't compatible with my hardware. So I just wanted to make that very clear. I think that is the BIOS tweaks messing up EXM here. I don't think that there is this much of a disadvantage using EXM. Nevertheless, here is our test results. On our stock OS, our average FPS was 265, or 1% lows are 169, and our 0.1% lows are 113. After using EXM, our average FPS went to 276, our 1% lows being 180, and our 0.1% lows being 119. And after using Risen Tweaks, our average FPS went up to 336, our 1% lows went to 240, and our 0.1% lows went to 180. And this was all tested in the Fortnite Minecart FPS benchmark map in Fortnite. So after seeing this, it is a clear winner of Risen Tweaks for our FPS test to blow out. The conclusion of this video is that EXM can still not keep up with the Risen Tweaks and it is unfortunate. However, the 2.0 is coming out. I highly recommend you go check that out. That looks absolutely amazing and I know that they are going to do month monthly plans so you can get it for like six bucks or seven dollars or eight dollars or something like that. Use it for a month and then that's it. You tweaked your PC. So that will probably change how I view these tests whenever we do test that. But as of right now, EXM has still not caught up with Risen Tweaks. And I do believe it was the BIOS Tweaks, so maybe just stay away from that. But other than that, I had no problems with it. It looks amazing like always. But to conclude this video, Risen Tweaks has won yet again. If you would like us to test any utilities that we have not tested yet, please leave a comment in this video and we will try to test that one. Until next time, see you. If you would like to save some money shopping at RisenTweaks.com, and you can use code HYDRA at checkout to save 15% off every single product from risentweaks.com.